Um, I think my relationship with family didn't change um, because I grew up as a very religious girl. So um, when I became more religious, I think it was a huge shock. Um, but because my family are very religious, then um, it didn't change our relationships in any way. Um, with friends, yes, it, my relationships did change because obviously there were things that as a Muslim I could no longer do, so I wouldn't think about um, going to pubs or say nightclubs, something that I didn't really do before, but certainly the, there were places that I couldn't go. And also, I guess, um, you know, as a single person, then I wouldn't be able to have boyfriends and things like that. Um, so because of that, it made it difficult maybe to have some friendships. But actually, having said that, before I came to Islam, I tended to make the kind of friendships where I wouldn't do those kinds of things anyway. So in actual fact, I do retain good friendships with non-Muslims, but what I would call like-minded friends. It wasn't a difficult decision for me to wear hijab because at the point when I wore hijab, I'd read a lot about it. I read a lot of reasons why it was a good idea to do it. So I was quite solid in my intention in it. Um, I guess I was a bit worried, though, even though I felt quite strong in my intention. What would be the reaction? What would be the reaction of my family? Um, you know, you want to follow a religion. I had a hope that you'd come back to Catholicism, but, you know, I understand. But why do you have to wear those clothes and wear that scarf? Why do you, why do you have to make it such a statement? And I had to explain to her that it wasn't just a statement, but it was, I guess, it was a statement as much to myself, like, this is who I am now. So it was more of an internal statement than an external statement, although as an aspect of that, um, for me, it was quite important to show um, people that I was Muslim, because how, as a new Muslim, how was I going to meet other Muslims? How would they know I was Muslim? How would I recognize, I'd be recognized by them? So that was quite important to me, the social aspect of becoming a Muslim as well. Um, do I have a role to play as a convert to Islam in the non-Muslim community? I would say definitely, because um, being a convert to Islam, I'm also, but I'm also seen as um, someone who's British. So I'm not just seen as a British Muslim, I'm seen as someone who's British. And so, yes, there is a role for me to play um, to, to explain what really is Islam, you know, from, from a convert perspective and, and from an Islamic perspective as opposed to a, a heritage Muslim perspective. Well, certainly when I came to Islam, there was a lack of support. Um, I think, particularly for female um, Muslims. Um, now it, it's changing, but what, what um, women, particularly I think, more so than men, particularly need are people who um, take care of their rights. So for instance, when, you come, when we, I came to Islam, I was very naive. Um, I thought all Muslim men were the same. You know, we're on the, we are on the same footing. They understand Islam. I understand Islam, um, so from that perspective, there are no misunderstandings. And then, of course, you realize that from one culture to another, um, from one person to another, from one school of thought to another, um, there are different perspectives on, on marriage. And so if you're not aware of that, if you don't have someone helping you and, and, and um, I guess guiding you through that, then it, then it becomes very difficult to find a marriage partner. So some of us, I came from Catholicism, I was a lapsed Catholic, um, you have people who are, who are secular, you have people who are from different races. Um, so the idea that you would put us into one heading of converts, um, I think it's going to surprise people that within that heading, there are several, many subheadings, and um, I hope that will be seen.